To say you gotta know somebody Or know somebody To get somewhere these days To say you know that's alright Yeah, that's alright Everybody. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Uh, I chose a, a topic today that is uh, very near and dear to my heart, is health. Health is a hobby of mine, and I love to share whatever knowledge I've obtained on this hobby with other people that I know and care about. And that's what I intend to do today, is to tell you a little bit about my hobby, health. One of the first things that I learned about when I decided to embark on this hobby was smoothies, smoothies. I used to hear about it all the time, but I really didn't know anybody who was doing it. And <coughs> excuse me. And I wanted to learn about it myself. So um, I started to do self-education through reading books and YouTube. Preferably, uh, I prefer to listen to YouTube channels on the topic of health. Call it YouTube TV on health. Many different people have. TV shows that they put out on YouTube, and that's one of the places where I learned an awful lot about this. If you speak to anyone in the medical industry, I think you will find that they have a, a large amount of a scant towards this type of alternative health. They simply don't want to hear anything other than the norm that they've had beat into their minds from the day they started at medical school until the day you meet them which is usually a solution to whatever health problem you're having fixed by pharmaceutical drugs. I choose to go with a self-education route where I can cure my own problems, okay? So no generation before this one has had this kind of wide variety of information at our fingertips. You know, people will sometimes make negative comments about the internet but I think it's the most wonderful thing ever invented because whatever the topic is that you want to learn about, you simply type in the question that you have or the issue that you want to learn about and an amazing array of information is available at your fingertips. Okay? So I consider it my, my destiny, my responsibility to take my health into my own hands and to try to do something about it instead of being given a prescription from a doctor. Uh, and this is something that I have amazing uh, positive things have come out of it from embarking on this hobby. And I've even developed a, a taste for the, for the healthy food, which when you first start doing it, it sometimes can uh, be a difficult transition to make if you're on the standard American diet, which if I refer to standard American diet any longer, I'm going to use the acronym SAD because it's, that's what I think it is. Okay, so what is a smoothie and what is the kind of smoothie that I would make? Well, first of all, I make it from whatever it is that I have around the house. I don't have a specific formula. I don't have specific ingredients that I'm thinking about all the time. I merely see what it is that I have in my house or in my garden that's ripe at the moment, and then I try to make a smoothie from it. The first and main ingredient is always greens for me, preferably greens from the garden, because they are alive. They were living 10 minutes before I throw them in the blender and consume them, and there's many benefits to that. Enzymes and many other things, the vitamins and minerals, have not been removed from them, has not been cooked. So there's no better way to get fresh food into your diet. Then I would add water, okay? Incidentally, with the greens, I typically try to add half a pound of greens into every smoothie. So I take like a Vitamix blender and I fill it up more than halfway. When you blend it up, it breaks it down, but about half, all right? So I, I like to use water. I like to use frozen blueberries. One of the reasons blueberries have amazing properties, there's just a few, we don't have time to go over that right now, but they don't have seeds in them. So they liquefy very well, and if they're frozen, it makes your smoothie, you know, a cool taste, which I prefer, and it makes it very easy to enjoy it. It gives it a sweet flavor, it's tremendous. I also put aloe vera in my smoothies. I eat aloe vera. I could do a whole presentation on aloe vera, maybe one day in the future I will. And then, 
a lot of us are used to drinking cold like milkshakes, which most people find pleasurable. Well, bananas give a smoothie, a creamy flavor, which can really make it taste and smell and feel like you're drinking a milkshake for a meal. So if, if you take a Vitamix blender, which is the kind of blender most people who make smoothies are serious about making smoothies and make one every day, they have a Vitamix, and it makes about nine cups of food if you fill it all the way to the top. And that, to give you a feel for how much food that is, it's about three mason jars, right? So what I would typically do in the morning is I'd wake up and I'd make my smoothie and I'd drink one of the mason jars immediately after making it because I want to get that goodness in me. That's my breakfast. And then I'll grab one of the other jars sometime in the morning, maybe around 11 o'clock before I have lunch, grab another one later on in the day. Occasionally I don't always finish all three jars, but what I do is I try to. I try to get the whole smoothie in me during the day. It fills me up and keeps me from eating less healthier food, okay? So th it's really a method of transformation to get used to doing this. But if you can do it, I think you're gonna notice amazing things. First of all, I lost weight. I lost a significant amount of weight, about 25, 30 pounds, after a few months of doing this. And I think what's more importantly is what you gain. You gain health. There were differences in my life that I, I definitely noticed. Much things, I felt better, I had more energy, things like that, okay? I believe that I cured some of the issues that I had. One of them was seasonal allergies, which has been diminished greatly since I've been doing the smoothies. It improves the functions of the human body many different ways that you have to kind of experience for yourself to really understand it. But to me, it's more about just, it's, it's a lot more than just having a meal. It's a lot more than just learning about health. I feel as if I'm advancing myself in a positive direction, which makes me feel terrific, okay? And I've become a person who now questions everything. I, I don't accept anything from a doctor or anyone of a so-called professional. I try to be like this guy, okay? This guy is, I don't accept what I'm being told until I go to the internet or a book or some source and I develop my own opinion from which I then feel comfortable enough about to share it with my friends. So be this guy is the end of my message for today and thank you for listening to my speech. Thank you very much for all. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm looking forward to my first opportunity of throwing a bunch of um, greens and rainbows into a blender.